Lucas Media. So Bill Haney did an interview after Devin Haney's shutdown of uh, Regis Progress. Now, in the interview, Bill Haney said that Floyd Mayweather hasn't accomplished at 25 what Devin Haney did. And and let me uh, let me give the exact quote. What Floyd didn't do at 25, Devin Haney, uh, Devin did do. This is a Devin Haney era. Guess what? Floyd can keep talking all that money ish if you want to. Yeah, there's somebody coming for round mush for the round mush Rushmore boxing, and his name is Devin Haney. Yeah, two division world champion, undisputed world champion, checking a bunch of money, man. And taking care of his team, man, about 25 people. And guess what? We ain't had no problems with contracts, no disputes, no broadcasters, none of that. This is a Devin Haney air. Don't ever mention Floyd Mayweather to me. Now, Floyd Money Mayweather is a Hall of Famer, one of the greatest fighters of all time. He's clearly the greatest money man of all time, earning the most money ever. But... I got to be honest. Devin Haney has accomplished more more than Floyd did at 25. See, at 25, Floyd was still under Bob Arum, a top rank. He was still trying to find his way. He already was a world champion, but he was a pretty boy Floyd. He wasn't Money Mayweather yet. At the age of 24, Devin Haney was not, he's undisputed. And he's his own boss. And I, I wonder if that's where a lot of the hate comes in for David Haney. Because I remember him growing up on YouTube, like Bill Haney said. He turned professional at 16. And I remember he was fighting for some WBC. It wasn't a title, but it was some type of belt. And you saw him come up through the rankings. And him and his father always talked about ownership. And they just started small. And yet, you know, Tank Davis, he signed with Mayweather Promotions and... Shakur Stevenson had a bidding war and he ended up signing with top rank. And uh, what's his name? Jerron Boos Ennis ended up signing with, I think he has a management deal with Steven Espinoza. No, Devin Haney, he, t- he bet it on himself. And, you know, he would work with little, he'd be on little shows here and there. Then he worked with uh, Eddie Hearn and then he was able to, to go to top do a three fight deal with top rain get that money now he back with eddie hearn at matchroom but Devin haney's able to bounce back and forth he's able to fight on this side of the street that side of the street at 25 he makes he makes he's one of the highest earners undisputed and out of everybody he's fighting the toughest fights versus a tank davis who I'm a huge fan of, but Tank Davis fights once a year. Let me look at Tank Davis' previous last three fights. Uh, record. Tank Davis' record. Let's see. So he fought Ryan Garcia in April. So he ain't fought since then. So we going on over eight months. He fought Hector Luis Garcia. That's that January 7th, 2023. He fought Roberto Romero, May 2028. Or May 28, 2022. Isaac Cruz, December 5th, 2021. So I'm just I'm scrolling back. He's he's not really that active. So let's say if he fights in first quarter, it's going to be almost a year since he fought Ryan, since he fought another fight. Tank Davis needs to be fighting multiple times a year, at least three times a year. But, you know, they got their whole thing going on with, with Showtime coming out of boxing and all of that. But Devin Haney's able to go say, hey, I want to go make this fight over here. I want to go make this fight over here. I can do a two fight deal with Amazon Prime and go over there and go fight. And that's what Bill Haney is saying. And we got to give Devin Haney credit where credit is due. He is his own boss. And he's getting paid. Isn't that what we want? So where does all this hate come from? 
So I agree. At 25, Devin Haney has accomplished it more, more than Floyd Mayweather did at 25. And one thing as well, Floyd Mayweather was never undisputed. So tell me what y'all think about all of this. <laughs>